Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI. Our team has walked through, and this is episode 14. Alright, so, before we continue to, to the grotta, I'm just going to show you guys what I've equipped here. Because I've ended up making some items. So I've, I have this for uh, my main character, this for uh, Eric. This is my new gear. Well, I never really changed her much except for the cat suit last episode. And Serena is hooked up with the gold platter, plus three. And also an entrance gloves now, since I have her own wand. However, I want to switch out Serena soon for uh, Silvando, I think. And I made the Rose Whip for Silvando. Also for uh, Poncho. So I think what I'm going to do is go to Mezca, uh, line up, and I want to switch him out for... Uh, or should I switch out Veronica? I'm torn between... Uh, We'll go with uh, Serena for now. I'm going to switch out for Savando. Now, there's one item I haven't made because I wanted to save myself making it for the video since items are getting a little bit more harder to make now. And that's the broader sword for the main character. So I'm just going to save my game really quick and then I'm going to go ahead and make it. Okay, so basically I'm only level 16, I believe. Uh, yeah, level 16, so I don't have that much focus for my for my forge. And since I don't have a lot of focus or abilities for my forge, I have to cons I have to use my focus efficiently to get more powerful equipment made this early in the game. So let's go to forge items and let's create if you are on the great sword path, let, let us create the broader sword. My aim here is to at least get plus one, and then I will use perfection pearls and hopefully jump to plus three with those. Okay, so double edge. Um, we're gonna start with top. Oh, we're already off to a good start. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So we're going to use double edge bash for efficiency. We are off to an amazing start. This actually might be a plus two if, um, if I do this right. Okay, we want to bash now. Um, bash up here. Okay, bash here. Uh-huh. Gonna... Perfect! Okay. So I can probably do a little tap right here. Hmm. And that's it. I'm out of focus now, but I have three perfects, so this actually might be a plus two. I can see this being a plus two, which would make getting plus three super easy with perfection pearls. So let's see what we get. Oh! Wow. Okay. Well, we made a plus three on our, on our first attempt. Man. Recording does magic, I swear to god. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Every time I record, something crazy happens. <sighs> okay, so... Let's say if you got plus one. Rework the item. And... Rework it to... Until you get plus three. Because with perfection pearls, it's actually... Or at least plus two, at least. That's the kind of the minimum you want, but broader sword is actually significantly significantly different difference from plus two to three because you get like I think it's a plus five extra boost to attack, which is actually quite a decent amount. And perfection pearls will make it super easy to go from plus one to three or plus one to two. Cast iron claymore, and we're gonna have to make all these weapons. L literally everything to plus three for an achievement, I believe. So we're going to have to master everything, creating everything plus three to forge at some point in this game. Now, broader sword plus three. Here's the difference here. That's massive difference from my cast iron sword. Uh, Claymore. 97 all the way to 117. Huge difference there. Parry chance improves by 1%. Uh, critical chance improves by 1%. Now, critical chance at 4% may seem small, but it helps. 
it certainly helps. Alright, so there we go. We are equipped with a beast weapon now. And this is officially my strongest character in the game, currently. Now, now before I continue, I want to show you guys something. Forge items. So let's see. I would recommend making fur poncho over armor. Over the iron armor. Because the difference from defense is minimal from fur poncho to iron armor. However, iron armor does not have any special effects, but fur poncho has two special effects. Fire damage is reduced by 10% and ice damage is reduced by 10%. So I would recommend if you do make um, armor, I would recommend you make fur poncho. For helmets, I would not, don't make the iron helmet, instead make the fur hood. As once again, it, the defense, I believe the defense from this to iron helmets is not very much either, but you also get the ice damage taken reduced by 10%. So let's see. Um, so you get 21 defense at plus 3, and with Iron Helmet you, you get... You actually get less defense and no special properties. So, make the Fur Hood over the Iron Helmet. As you get more defense, and you also get a special effect, which reduces ice damage by 10%. Which stacks on all other effects as well. And for shields, you want to make the Gold Platter for Serena or whoever else you want to have a shield. For me, I just have Serena for shield. Everybody else is all two hand. And Eric, I'm trying to get him on a dual wield path so he can have two daggers, but that's gonna be a while still. And obviously the main hero is a great sword, so he's two hand. So Vondel is two hand with whip. He can also hold a shield, but he'll lose attack damage if you decide to put a shield on Savondel. And um I think Veronica is two hand with a staff, so the only uh, the only best choice was to give a shield to Serena for me personally. Depending on your playstyle, you might be sword and shield. That's totally fine. Okay, so I forgot to mention for clothes for fur poncho, magic besides, you can farm them right there from this monster here. So you want to um, basically you. As you can see from the video there, you want to steal from, from that monster, which is found here. And you, you can get Magic Beast side from stealing from it. They're just right over here in this region. Now for Fur Hood, you also need more Magic Beast side for that as well. So I would recommend maybe stealing. Just steal as much Magic Beast side as, as you need depending on how many you want to make. Now there's fine fur, which um, I stole from those uh, those little duck platypus looking things, the yellow ones, in, as you can see in the video right there. Those are just in Laguna de Gondolia region. And stealing from them is relatively easy. So you'll get fine hoods, fine fur from them. Gold platter speaks for itself. Gold ore is a uh, you should have a lot of gold ore by now if you've been getting all the sparky spots with me. And copper ore, well, <laughs> loaded on them. Now for fur weapons, uh, I mean for weapons, the broader sword, you should have the pitch pearl because if you've been following this guide, you will have at least one pitch pearl, which is enough to make the broader sword for the main hero. Alright, so I'm going to save my game over time and then I'm, you guys are going to meet me right at the entrance to the grotto. Okay, so before I get to the grotto, here I am on the map. As you can see, the grotto is just right west of Gondolia. So let's head into the uh, grotto and get our special liquid that we need to cure the curse from that little boy there. There's also some items that we have to get in Gondolia still that I haven't got yet. Because I did some more looking around in town and I realized there's some items that I have to pick up still. So I'm going to do that right after we're done here. Okay, so that's one item. Some of these guys are really hard to see. Okay, so let's go... We have two locations. Let's go right first. 
And see what's down here. Okay, we have a tre treasure chest to our north. We have new enemies in this cave that we are going to fight. Okay, so we got a blue eye from here, and it looks like that's that's about it. So let's kill one of these mushrooms. Preempt up attack it for 10 damage. Those muddy hands are back. Oh, and Eric wants to get pepped up. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we're gonna use uh, sleeper hit. Hmm. I wish Eric had uh, attack and attack everything. Okay, let's use sleeper hit on muddy. Nah, one of these guys. Effective. Okay, he's asleep. Muddy B calls her, but nobody shows up. Okay, we want to use bang attack. Don't say I didn't warn you. And there's one dead. Heli chop this should get rid of these hands. I should probably use bang. Oh well. Wow, we're very strong with that new broadsword. 16 damage. Right? Oh shoot, I forgot to put um Silvano on to follow my orders. My bad. Okay, I'll have to do that next, I guess. Or can I do it now? Yes, I can. Okay. Silvano, we need you to follow my orders, okay? Stop controlling yourself. I wish that was the default. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Now Savano's following my orders. Perfect. And let's go. We haven't fought these things yet. I don't even think we fought those weird jelly things either. Okay, let's fight one. Oh, I was gonna preempt preempt the attack it, but so Savano has multi attacks, this is gonna be nice. Salvando and Eric are gonna have perfect synergy as this has a chance to confuse enemies and, and we all know that Persecutor does six times damage when enemies are either sleeping or confused. So Salvando is gonna be really good for us. Alright, perfect. However, none of these enemies got confused but that's fine. Those are rel relatively easy to bat on it. Wing of a bat? Okay. We can probably seal those, I wonder. Well, I don't wonder. Obviously, we should be able to steal them. Let me get jumped here. Oh, what? And finish it! Yeah! Alright, so Savondo is actually not too bad with that whip. Holy shit. I'm actually quite li liking Savondo so far. Serena is good for healing, but I don't really need uh, a healer, you know? She's good for like protection, Serena. She's kind of like the white mage of the party. In FF terms. Final Fantasy terms. Okay, let's climb up here. Uh, okay, so I th it looks like we want to jump down and grab this treasure chest here. And... You see that succubat hanging up the stairs? We can actually crossbow him down if you want to fight him. However, I don't think we fought these jelly things yet, huh? Pixie pole. Is that a uh, good? That's for for uh, Serena, I believe. So what's the difference? Ah, uh, special effects are the difference. Okay, I see. So this has special effects. Sure, we'll give her the pixie pole, even though I'm not using her for for now. And I guess we'll fight this in here. Right? What is this, a metal jelly or something? No, it's not metal. Uh, seven points of damage. Okay, I'm gonna try and put this toxic to sleep. Awesome. What do we also want to do is Hypno Whip on Man of Wars. If I can get just one of them confused, that'd be perfect. Uh oh. Someone's paralyzed. Eric is. Just when my strongest character of the six times damage is paralyzed. Well, we can use Bang. Gets rid of two guys. And we can have Bang for the main character as well. And now that's down to one. 
So Eric's paralyzed, but this guy's sleeping, so we can just finish him off. With a uh, Frizz attack. Let's heat things up. I need a thunder. And don't come back. I need a thunder move for um Veronica. Bundle of soft work. Okay, so let's see here. Um, nothing to my left. Let's go to the right side. And kind of work our way around here to see what's here. Okay, we got a sparky spot. So how much of those sparky spots are left? There's about... There's one left. Okay, and that's all the way up there. I'll worry about that one after. Right now, I just want to focus on getting items. I don't want to jump down here. It looks like I came from there. Now we can continue. And head to the right side. And then head left. Or no, we want to head right actually. We want to head right first. As this trails around. Uh, let's see. Okay. This trails all the way back here. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a left turn, but first let's go up here and see what's up here. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be a chest or something for us. Oh, there is. Perfect. Okay, so we get Seed of Magic, which I'm gonna give to Veronica, obviously. <laughs> oh, the mushrooms are waking up. Why are they all staring at the wall? Oh, we got another chest here. Green eye. Seed of magic, let's use that on Veronica. And she's gonna have 80. Oh, wow, we went up by four. Okay. And let's drop this down. What the? Yeah, I was. I had the icon for that. And it looks like this just leads back to the path where we were before. See, the treasure is already open. Which means now there's only one path we haven't taken yet. And that's the campfire path, which we're obviously going to rest up and save our game as a last thing we do before we fight that monster that we just passed to get to this point. Oh, not that way. And that, that, that one right there, we're gonna rest up and stuff before we fight that thing. Okay, so let's go up here. And this time, let's kind of go around this way. And there's a chest right in front of us. And a new monster that we haven't fought yet, I believe. I don't think we fought those weird looking ghost thing things. And a mini meadow. Yeah, definitely need that. Alright, see here. Might as well get some battles in because we're about to rest up soon, so... What are these weird ghost wizard things? W wizard? Wizard? What? Okay, let's see if I can sleep with Toxic Toad because he's poisonous. Yeah. We don't need your poison affecting us, buddy. Okay, Hypno Whip on the wizards. Can I confuse them? I must have really bad deafness. I, I believe um, deafness is also the cause of how high of a chance you have to make targets sleep uh, and confuse. But I'm going to double check on that through the uh, option menu. Because I'm pretty sure that's what it does though. It helps with that. Deafness might be underrated. It, it definitely helps with stealing. So I think it does help with status abilities as well. Okay, so let's use Bang. And I'm not sure if Savano has very high deafness. Okay. I think we can finish him off with a bang. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So let's double check on that deafness ability. Uh, uh not ability, but status. Nice! Eric's level 17. Yay, Eric. Seven points. Can we learn anything useful? Increase his crit hit. Uh... Wow. Okay, you know what? What's up here? 
dodge chance plus two percent deafness plus ten Ooh. Ooh, I'm thinking of saving up for that one I think I want this one here an extra plus ten deafness further increase okay, let me check out that deafness I gotta check it out now <laughs> all right so let's go to uh, Traverse steps let's go to uh, let's go to all about uh, attributes all about attributes okay and let's find deafness Deafness determines how likely a character is to catch enemies unaware. Higher deafness also makes it far less hard to flee from battle. Charm indicates the odd odds of enemies being entranced by a character's appearance and becoming unable to act as a result. Yes, we know that. Resilience reflects the character's basic resistance to physical blow. Okay. And what's the effects of equipment? Special abilities taken. Okay, okay. So. If I had to guess here. I would say the most likely attribute to affect status would be deafness. Because when you catch enemies unaware, it helps with stealing and it probably helps with the uh, status abilities as well. So I think it might be deafness. Now let me check here for attributes. Um, when you look at Eric, you'll see that Eric has really high deafness, 75. Now let's go to Savando. Deafness, 37. So you see how I'm I'm making targets sleep a lot. High deafness, 75. Savando is having a struggle with trying to confuse enemies because his deafness is low. So deafness is a is a key attribute for for uh, successful status effects. I believe I believe so anyway. So let's go get this last working spot right in front of us here. And then we're gonna rest up and save our game. Okay. Almost got ambushed there, but let's uh, rest up and save our game. I'm gonna sleep until dawn. Okay, so I think we're ready. Um, however, I'm probably gonna switch out for Sav for Serena now, since it's a boss fight. So switch out Savando for Serena. Alright, so I'm screwed on deafness for Savando. He's really low deafness. I need to figure out a way to increase his deafness. And then he will be a very, very useful party member. Now we're gonna head right to the boss here. Or, I don't even think it's a boss. It looks more like a mini boss. But I guess let's find out. There's no way a boss would just be standing like that. It might be a mini boss. Yeah, see, there's like no special... Yeah, it's just a mini boss, or... I think these are just regular enemies, to be honest. But they're just very high... for this point of the game. So let's go with, um... Sleeper hit on one. And it worked successful! Now let's go with... Okay, let's sap him. Come on. Sorry. Successful. Now let's um snooze. Let's see if, if we're gonna be successful at snooze. Okay, well this is going perfect then. All that's really left to do here is accelerate. Eric, make him faster. So Eric's agility is uh, really fast now. And we are going to persecute uh, Korra A. Eh? 190 damage. Oh my god. <laughs> now we're going to sap Coral B. Okay. And we are going to try and snooze A again. Or maybe it's just a little bit risky. You know what? I just want a normal attack. Um, a. Normal attack him. And he's dead! Okay! So far, <laughs> we're full health! Holy shit! Wow, okay, this, this is really good. Uh, I want to... I want to defend. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Come on. Yes, yes. And we're gonna persecute Coral B. 197. <laughs> and, um, Frizz. And 
whoosh should do it. I think. Flawless victory. <laughs> oh man, that is great. Veronica learns spell to celery. Savando, Savando. How the hell did he get a level? He's not even in the party. Oh, does that mean your character's still level when they're not in the party? Well, that is fucking awesome. Makes leveling all the easier, that's for sure. Veronica has ten points. Holy shit, man! Um, increase magical might. Let's do that. Plus ten. Let's get that up. So, what does this open up here? Spooky aura. Weakens an enemy's res resistance to all offensive spells. That's another useful one. Vondo, Savondo. Oh, Savondo. Do, 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 do. What should I do with you? Lashing of love. Okay, I can buy that. I don't want your charm up, Savondo. I need your deafness up. Oh, no. Why? Why? Why, Savondo? Why can't you just have your deafness be up? Oh! 12 points? A total of 22 points. Oh my god. I'm gonna go for these two. 22 points. Oh, I'm saving up, I guess. God damn it. That's a lot of deafness. That's gonna be very useful. Because Savando has low deafness right now. And, I, I, and I'm thinking deafness is a key stat, so... It's so clear. This will be perfect for making birdsong nectar. There we are, all done. Now, let's head back to Gondolia and see if we can cure dear little Placido. Now, let's head back to Condolia and see if we can kill Tear Placido. <laughs> Gosh, look! The contest really got going while we were away. Oh, this is just too, too exciting! I can't wait to see the first contestant take the stage! Listen, boys, I want front row seats for this, so let's get organized. You two go and muscle your way to the front of the crowd and save us a space. Meanwhile, me and the girls will go put a song back into little Placido's throat. Ooh, I can't wait to see his happy little face! Ciao for now! <sighs> so we get lumbered with the grunt work again, huh? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just head over to the contest and see what's what. Okay guys, we're back in Gondolia here. First thing I want to do is go to the inn. Here, where's the end? Okay, the end's over here. We want to open these doors and we want to head all the way upstairs and out the back door of the end. The upstairs door here. So that we can traverse the rooftop and grab some items, break some pots. And anything else that we may need to do, we'll have to do it in the next episode. So let's uh, grab the pots. We got a single file. Okay. Let's um, traverse over here through the rope. Perfect balance. The main hero should be part of a circus. Open the chest up and get file of magic water. Okay, let's uh, traverse this way now. And there's going to be uh, more pots that we have to break, and then that's about it for this rooftop here. There's Savongo and everybody on the bridge here. 21 gold coins. And medical herb. Alright. 
Now, what we want to do here is head to the church and prepare to save our game. I am going to end this playthrough, this uh, this part of the walkthrough here, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.